happy independence day guys i'm recording this vlog mojo review on independence day come on google stop it so look at the tricolors happy independence day whatever you think nation comes always first that's what i believe i hope everyone believes that Hello, Auto Caddy here. Today I'm reviewing Mahindra Mojo. Let's hit it. First of all, what is my background to review Mahindra Mojo? I have had the bike uh, with me uh, for the past. Uh, few days i have done more than 700 kilometers on the highways on bad roads and no roads at all so what's my first impression first impression is mahindra mojo is good and definitely definitely better than royal enfield himalayan in many ways I really like how Mojo sounds. This bike particularly has some kind of strange noise coming out of the engine when it is uh, in a uh, standing situation. I uh, mean to say when it is uh, in neutral uh, gear. There is kind of hitting sound. I will put a clip of it. Maybe uh, it is uh, you know, common or uh, it's specific to this bike. I don't know. Other than that, the Mojo sounds very good especially when you are riding slowly okay Google you hear uh, the sweet sound and uh, I really like it the position seating position is good but uh, I would have uh, liked handlebar position a little bit higher anyhow that is an easy adjustment if you want to do that you just need uh, handlebar risers okay uh, in terms of uh, fuel tank oh man this is the best i uh, fueled you know i uh, full tank the uh, mojo when i took the bike and uh, it's still running with that fuel it's blinking now it's in um, reserve but that is the best part it has 21 liter uh, fuel tank and you don't have to uh, fill the tank often when you are uh, doing long rides in terms of design i never liked mojo design but uh, since i took the bike the design is growing on me so that's my opinion about the design in terms of handling this bike doesn't take much time for you to get used to it and handling is pretty easy of course it's a heavy bike it's not like any ktms it's a 180 plus but still you can handle it pretty easily uh, and 5.7 5.8 uh, height persons should be okay with the bike in terms of balancing everything you know in terms of confidence okay in terms of uh, bike uh, food packs they are uh, positioned very well i uh, felt uh, uh, my right wrist aching a little bit uh, that coincided with uh, right leg uh, aching a little bit i think it's just because of the long ride uh, i usually if I'm doing 300 km ride, you usually won't stop at all unless uh, <laughs> nature calls. Okay, in terms of mirrors, uh, mirrors are okay. Uh, for me, uh, you know, they are not wide enough, of course, but uh, they just work. Of course, during high speeds, a little bit blurriness uh, creeps in because of uh, the vibrations i think you can always change the mirrors 
I'm not sure if these are stock mirrors or not. I think they are stock. The engine is good actually. It's a 295cc liquid cooled mill. It has radiator fan to cool down the engine when, uh, whenever it heats up. And also there is some uh, mechanism which uh, reduces uh, the bike RPM to 5,000 kilo, you know, 5,000 RPMs, I think, uh, when it is, uh, you know, too hot, you cannot cross that RPM when the engine is too hot. And uh, I have a difficulty in finding neutral. Uh, other than that, the, the clutch is smooth, quite smooth, I, I would say. Gears are smooth enough. Uh, you, you will feel the click as well so and they are smooth yeah you feel the engine hit when uh, you know you are riding the uh, bike in first and second gears in the traffic uh, and also you hear uh, radiator fan when it is uh, switched on to cool down the engine and there is this some knocking sound right it is not like uh, uh, some tin can kind of sound but it is like hard hitting knocking sound is there i will put a clip uh, if you wanna check it out and also for radiator fan uh, i will put a clip uh, you can check it out But overall I feel uh, it's a good bike and uh, in the first attempt um, you know Mahindra has done really good job and also you can see the Italian linkage because the fit and finish is good uh, it is definitely not like Royal Enfield Himalayan and it is far far better than uh, Himalayan in terms of build quality and in terms of how the engine performs uh, power delivery is linear and uh, anybody can ride this bike it's not like uh, KTM's where uh, you know in 5 seconds you reach 100 it's not like that but still it has performance so 6 gears to squeeze that power in the engine I would say overall pretty good in terms of brake, uh, this is I think 2016 uh, model. Um, I would have liked more bite on the front brake. But if you are a seasoned rider, I don't think uh, you need to worry about the brakes because you know how to take advantage of engine braking. So it won't be a problem and also I think Mahindra has uh, improved the brakes uh, in the uh, newer uh, new Mojo in the 2017 Mojo and also for the old bikes I think the, they have changed the brake pads or something somebody was saying uh, you know one of my friends was saying that so that means uh, that braking thing is solved and people who might say like you know for that uh, cost uh, you need ABS yeah of course ABS is a good feature to have but um, uh, if you are a seasoned rider and uh, you, know, you, you don't do a lot of silly mistakes I don't think ABS is a big factor because ABS comes with a uh, cost of at least uh, 30 to 40k 
again now whether it is single channel dual channel everything will comes into picture if it is a single channel again it's only on the front so a lot of things so it comes with the cost i think uh, giving it as an option would be a good thing uh, for any biker that's what i would say about it I think uh, whoever bought uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan in 2016 would have been better off with Mojo that is what uh, my opinion So overall very good job Mahindra Okay that's about it thanks for watching as always don't find time make time for your passion signing off artukedi here don't forget to subscribe share and like the video thanks for watching bye bye